and welcome to the fourth video in our GUI screencast series. So in, to, in this video, we're going to have a look at actually updating the GUI, specifically updating the colorful panel down the bottom in order to show the color that the user is selecting with the three sliders. So where we left off in the last video was we had each of the sliders connected to a callback function. And every time one of them was moved, it would print out the red value, green value and blue value just to the MATLAB command window. Now, what we want to do instead is actually use those red, green, and blue values to, to conduct an update on the GUI itself, change this panel color. So we'll go back over to app designer now, and we're going to stay in the code view. So for now, I will just leave that code, but we'll, we'll clean it up and remove that later on. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to retrieve each of those values, and we're going to use it to update the background color. So what we can do is we can go red equals and access that value property again. So again, app dot red slider, which is the object dot value, which is the property. So it's, it's very similar to the struct notation that we've looked at for previously a few weeks ago. It's, it's effectively the same concept there. So I'm going to do this to each of my colors. I've got my red value now from the red slider. I'm going to now get my green value. So app.greenslider.value. And I'm going to get my blue value. So app.blueslider.value. You can see too that app designer gives you little hints. Uh, if so, if you have a really long function name or anything like that, you don't actually have to remember it. It gives you the little hints as well that you can select from. So now I've got all of those, and what I want to do is I want to change the background color of, of this one here. So this one here, if you select it, you can see that it's just called app.panel. So I want to actually access the background color property for that. So if you weren't sure what you wanted to access and change, you could go back into the inspector view in the design view, and you can see the names of all the properties here. So you can see the background color is the one that is currently that hot pink color. So that's the property we're going to want to change. And as I mentioned in the first video, it works in this RGB color space of sort of zero to one for each value. So if I go back over here, all I need to do to update that is go app.panel.backgroundColor. So again, I'm accessing the object app.panel and the property of the object background color. So all I need to do is type that and then equals and put in the color that I now want. So all I need to do is create an array of my red value, my green value, and my blue value. So that's telling it that we want this much red, this much green, and this much blue, please and thank you. So I will delete this code up here now actually because we don't really need it. And I'll run this code. Once I've cleaned up the indenting. Let's run it. So now when I move this along, we can actually see the color changing down the bottom. So we've successfully updated the color based on the input from the user. So you can do these updates of properties from within a function for lots of different things. You might want to change a plot that's being shown. You might want to change the color of a button, something like that. There's some more examples of that sort of stuff in the extra exercises for this week. So have a go at those as well if you want to play around with more stuff around updating the GUI's properties. But that's that's kind of our task complete here. Um, we might put some final polishes on in the following video, but we've completed the fundamental task here. So good job. Thank you for joining us. And feel free to stick around for the last video on some finishing touches.